time out with him. Oh. Hello, welcome to Time Out with Timo. I'm your host, Tim Owens. As always, super excited and happy to be here today. Huh, how do I want to start this video off? Well, let me dive right in. Yesterday evening, I was having a conversation with my sister. And she was picking my brain about some things. We got into the conversation of relationships and some of the things people do, how they interact with one another, right? So I said something. Now, this is the funny part. There's things that I've said 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Now I hear people online saying these things now as if it's new, which lets me know that I've been ahead of the curve. Get this. Now, there's people who've accused me of being who of being a know-it-all. First of all, I'm not a know-it-all. Can I be intimidating? From a personality standpoint, absolutely. And let me explain what that means. If you're a person that's knowledgeable and you can go from subject to subject, topic to topic, some people who can't do that, that intimidates them. They don't feel that they can keep up with you in conversation. So instead of them leveling up to want to get where you are, they would rather tear you down, right? So get this. To the relationship conversation me and my sister was having. I was explaining to her that uh, she asked me about why do some people start out being one way and then they they change or after a certain period of time, they become a completely different person. You guys have heard this a thousand times over. All right, here we go. This is my this is my take on that. So I did it a psychologist in the past, right? Nice woman, out of appearance, very smart, had it all put together, right? However, when she got upset, the gloves came off. You hear me? She was about as mean as a, as a rattlesnake, okay? So the relationship with her and I didn't work out because she felt that when she got upset, she could say whatever she wants to say. She can talk to people any kind of way, very disrespectfully. She was the kind of person, when I tell you a narcissist, and people keep throwing that word around, but this was a true sociopathic narcissist this person was. Any room this woman walked into, she had to take down everyone in the room. She had to be the smartest one in the room, right? She was so controlling and domineering because she had a high position at work. She had a lot of people, a lot of subordinates, and she felt like everyone was beneath her. Even if she liked you, you were only liked as long as you were doing what she wanted. The minute she felt any resistance from you, you became public enemy number one. Now, I avoided that wrath until one day I didn't agree with her and I explained to her why I didn't. And she took it super personal, right? So the way the relationship ended with us was I explained to her, look, um, I respect you. I, you know, have nothing but uh, admiration for your hard work and your dedication to your profession. But however, when you get upset, you need to learn how to control your temperament and you're not going to disrespect me. You're not going to talk to me any kind of way. All right. I have never once talk to you in any disrespectful manner whatsoever. So if you can't have enough emotional control to treat me the way that I treat you, you and I cannot date because we cannot get along. That infuriated her. Who was I to tell her about the whatever, whatever? I said, ma'am, I don't care about none of that. So let's, let me fast forward, right? So that we quit dating, that was that. So let me fast forward. Three years later, right? This lady reached out to me and she asked me, this is something I, this is something that I forgot how I forgot I had even said. She said, you basically referred to me as a horrible person. And I said, well, if I said you were a horrible person, 
then you have to be behaving like one. She said, what made you say that? And I said, let me tell you something. I thought the world of you, right? The only thing that I ever asked of you was to control your anger, your temper when you get upset. That's all I asked of you. If you were able to do that, we probably would have stayed together and had a great life. Do you agree or not? This lady told me that that's not what happened. You didn't want to date me anymore because I refused to agree with you. I said, that's not correct. I'm going to tell you again. The only thing that I asked you to do was to control your anger, your temper when you get upset. You're not going to disrespect me. I don't care how angry you get or how angry I become. I will never disrespect you. I never did. I never have. I would need someone that can do the same thing. That lady said, that's not true. I said, okay, how about this? Um, how, how old are you now? She said, I'm 41. I said, okay. You were married when you were in your 20s, correct? Yeah, what does it have to do with anything? I said, you told me your relationship, your marriage in your 20s, you guys used to have some verbal uh, back and forth, some verbal spats. Almost became physical at one point because of the words that were exchanged between you two. She said, that's correct. What's your point? I said, my point is, from 41, well, from 24 to 41, would you handle things the exact same way that you did when you were that young until now with your ex-husband? This lady said to me, yeah, I would. I would handle everything the exact same way. I would have divorced him sooner. That's the only difference. But I would have did everything the same. I would have handled every situation, every argument, every disagreement the same way. I said, ma'am, you did not learn anything. There's not a single person who has properly matured that will handle situations at 18, 24, 30, 35, 40, the exact same way if you actually have matured and learned something. You having that same mindset means you didn't learn a thing. Who at 24 years old would respond and say something maybe that would escalate a situation at 24? And you saw the result that that, that, that caused and brought to you. Would at 34 respond and act the same way? No one with any sense would do that. I knew what I was doing then. I knew what I was doing now. So I don't agree with you once again, because you're not going to tell me that I was. I say, you know what? Now I see why. Now I see why you're in the position you're in and why I could never be with anyone like you. OK, now let me go back to my sister's question that we were to our conversation and the question she asked. I said, see, this is the reason why some people do what they do in new relationships because they never learned anything from the past. They never learned. They never fixed themselves. If I explained to that woman, all you had to do was control your anger and I would have tried to fly to the moon with you. But she chose to stay in her ways, to stay behaving the way she always did. And she keeps getting the same result and can't keep a man because of that. Most people, they do not get help for their issues and their problems. They repeat the same cycle. They try to find a new person to tolerate their nonsense. And whenever they're called out on it, they get upset and they will leave that person or force that person to leave them. And they'll just keep going and going and going from person to person, trying to force them to deal with their problems and their issues. I said, and this is also what they do. This is the first time I'm putting this out on the internet. I know other people are going to see it and they're going to steal it and they're going to try to uh, recycle what I'm saying. But you got to have the understanding. If you can repeat what I say, but you have to be able to go in depth and break it down if you push back. So let me so let me break this down. 
All right. So some people call it like a 90 day test. I've heard that mentioned or whatever. But let me explain it in the Timo fashion. OK, so let's say you're dating someone. You guys been together for a little while and then they want to see how far and deep they're in. So they'll do something like this. For men, you'll get the uh, show up at the house one day. Hey, what's going on? Oh, nothing. Like, no, nah, what's see? That's bait. They want you to be like, oh, what's going on? What's the problem? Uh, I just feel like, well, you know, you this or you that. Guys, it's the opposite way. The lady will be like, hey, babe, such, such, such. And he'll be like, oh, no, you know, whatever. Right. So this is this is what they're doing. If your if your reaction is, hey, you know what? Hey, I don't know what your problem is, but guess what? I don't have time for this drama in my life. So whatever emotional problems you have in or whatever it is, you know what? Maybe it's best we just end this thing right now. Just go on our separate go on our separate ways. Let's not even bring this. They're going to say, oh, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. I wasn't you know, I wasn't saying I was just a little upset or whatever, whatever. They're going to do that first. They're testing you. They're testing to see how much you care about them, how far you invested in so they can see what they can get away with. When your response is, hey, you know what? Yeah, this not working. They're going to bag down. They're going to reattach themselves. They're going to say, cool, okay, I have to dig deeper. Now, they may not even know that they're using this manipulation uh, tactic because that's who they are. See, if you're a person who don't try to manipulate people, you, you don't even see it. But to them, it's a normal thing. So they don't think they're doing anything wrong. So you let them know, hey, you're not dealing with this. You know what? You guys just in this relationship. It's not working. Cool. They'll back down. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to be. So let's say another month goes by. They'll do it again. They'll, this time, they'll either blow up about something. They'll make a big deal about something. What they're doing is they want to gauge your reaction. They want to see how you're going to respond again. So if they do something to uh, irritate you, upset you, and you say, hey, you know what? I don't know what your problem is, but guess what? This is not the road I want to go down. Maybe we should just, you know, we're only a couple of months in. Maybe we should just go our separate ways. You know, we should just, you know, we should just end this relationship because, you know what? I don't really want to. Here they go. They're going to say, oh, no, I don't. I wasn't saying that. I just was upset or I just felt like such and such and such. So it's the guys who is going to be the same way on either side of the fence, right? Once again, if you say, okay, well, I'm glad you kind of understand where I'm coming from because, you know, you know, okay, cool. You let them slide again, right? Another month goes by. Now, I know you guys are thinking, who has that kind of time? Trust me. People that want to manipulate you, people that see something in you that they want, they got all the time in the world. Trust me. You don't think so because you have other things going on. This person, you're their thing. You're what they're after. You're the center of what they want for now, right? Let's go to month three. Here we go. Now, this is the, usually around the 90-day mark, this is where it's either do or die. They're going to do it again. They're going to test you again. Not really sure how, what way they're exactly going to do it, but it's going to happen again, right? This is what they do this time. They're going to do, they're going to, they're going to blow up or do something. Whatever it is, is to get, you, get, to get to gauge where they are with you. The minute you go, well, hey, hold on a minute now. You know, let's talk about this. You know, we don't have to talk about, and they're probably going to use the reverse and say, well, I mean, this is how you feel then. You know, maybe we might as well just break up or quit talking or just go our separate ways to see other people. They're going to say that this time. So they're going to say it. To get you to say, well, wait a minute. No, we don't have to do that. We can just work through this, such, such, such. The minute you say that, they say, aha, I got them or her or whomever. Now they want, that's all they wanted to do. All they wanted to do was to keep on digging, 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 getting, get, getting attached enough to where they feel like you're too deep to just walk away so easily. So now I'm going to enforce my will upon you. I'm going to try to make you deal with all the problems, all the drama, all the things that I've never fixed. Now that I feel like you're in enough, you invested enough, you got enough time in. Now let the games begin. That's what people do. I'm telling you. Usually around 90 days. 
they do the first two. Then the third one, they want you to be the one. They're going to say, we can just go our separate ways or we can just quit seeing each other. We can whatever. They're going to say it on round three because they want you to be the one to say, well, no, we don't have to do that. We can work on this. Such, such, such. They got you. Game on. Game on. So I can get into some more of that at another time, but I don't want to talk to you guys to death about that right now. But think about your past relationships. Think about situations you've been in, especially relationships that didn't work out. Think back. Hey, this this ain't Timo. I'm not just telling you something. I want you to look at your own life. Look back at situations that you've been in. And I guarantee you, you will see someone has played that game on you usually more than once. But the point I'm in in my life right now, the age I'm at, what I've been through, what I've seen, there will be no wool pulled over these eyes. Or anyone that talks to me that want to know how to avoid this, I got your back. As always, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, like I always say, happy people do not cause problems. Peace. If everybody winning, who's losing? Man, who's losing? I'm trying to make it make sense. It's like it's so confused. Yeah, so you see the pain in your eyes from all the lonely nights. I swear I know how it feel. It just don't feel right.